bunch of shit in this right with all guys. Am I picking that towel up you dropped in the driveway? Yeah, I got it, Jimmy. I seen your, uh, your fish net back there, yeah. but we had that when we went fishing. Yes, see, I thought you were bringing that. <laughs> I was going to be like, what the fuck are you going to do with that? <laughs> yeah, man, they're the tuna. That's what we're paying them for. All right. All right, you guys, today we are fishing for Atlantic bluefin tuna. I'm here with my dad. We're off the coast of Rhode Island this time because um, directly off Cape Cod, the tuna really didn't come in that way because the bait didn't actually come in that way a lot this year. So we ended up going to this spot. I don't even know how many miles out we are, but it was a pretty decently long run. And But anyways, uh, let's get to fishing. Right, so the way we're fishing for these tuna is we're basically vertical jigging and my dad's on a different style of bait. It basically looks like a big swim bait, but it's supposed to, I believe, resemble a sand eel or some other type of bait fish. And basically all he has to do is let it sit there and just like kind of rock with the boat. He doesn't really have to do much, but um, jigging it gets tiring after a while, but hopefully it's worth it. Top of the well again. Sorry, buddy, I get tired. Okay, come take the rod for me. We'll get you back. Right. Right. Here you go. Let me get this out. Okay. Oh, man. I'm glad you lost it. Yeah. See what no, I mean? Don't go too rough. You don't okay. need to go too rough right, with it. Right. Fine. Go. Just keep it tight. I'm just going to do it something, right? You can see why I'm tired now? Yeah. Okay, just so you know. Sorry I'm a puss, guys. Uh, no problem. Oh, man. Don't, go, don't need to go okay, too okay. rough. I mean, it's still brilliant, yeah, yeah. but you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Thanks, Cam. Oh, man. Check. Yeah, well, that's all yours. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. There you go. Right. Good yeah. job, guys. You see what I mean now, though? Had a hand to you a little bit. It was a tight, it was a good fight. That's just a little baby one. Yeah. Awesome. That's the fun one to catch on spin. That's a, that's a, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah, fight. They fight, though, huh? Yeah. Good job. Why don't you take a picture, too? Yeah. I'll, take a, I'll take a picture of your phone. You hold it. I'm actually hold them and take a picture. Alright. Take them. Sorry, I'm a rookie. No problem at all. Just like that. I'm a charter captain. That's all I do with this rookie. Good, thank you. I appreciate it. Alright, you're going to take your hand. You're going to get it up in his gill like this. Okay. He's going to want to flop. 
Take that picture? Yep, I'm ready. Make sure, make sure he stays uh, in the boat. <laughs> yeah. Take the picture. Okay, ready? No, you're, oh, not, even on, you're not even holding it, right? It don't matter. Take the picture. Okay, I already did. Wait, one more time. That looks terrible. I'll get some good ones. All right. All right, yeah, you're good. You're good. Is this your keeper? Yes. Well, yeah, I gapped him. <laughs> yeah. Good, good. All right. So I did something right. Yeah. Keep going. No, it yeah, just came off. Came right <laughs> Come on, Jack. You gotta get, you gotta get yours. I don't want to stunk you. I know. So it's the most kind of a fighter. Yeah, imagine one bigger than that. Oh, shit. Did you really? Hey, you want to pick up? It's gonna reset real quick. Oh, yeah. Thing, so if we want to put them in the cool, we can. Right. It's going to be inside of here. Right. Anyway, so, come on. Oh. Hmm? What are you going to do? Nothing. Oh, okay. All right. I just making sure that you should have the fights on them and stuff. Okay, bud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You might want to get that one. What? Oh, you're not for all this. Don't, you're good, dude. Don't, good. Yep. You hear that bow rod in for me? Yeah, get that one. It's just real, just real, just real. Okay. Guess what? Get him again. Oh, right? Yep. Get him again. Hey, 
things happen to the best of us. Hey, just take out an old man was trying to do it. That was a better one too. Yeah. I know they're just real now, so just like, you know. Yeah, do you want me to tell you something? After you set the hook and you keep ripping that hook, uh -huh. you're just making the hole bigger in his mouth. Uh -huh. It makes it easy for to spit it. Wow. So once you get it set and through into his mouth, yep. just keep pressure. That's yep. all you gotta do. And I don't like to pump the rod because like when you're pumping the rod, yeah. you know, when you come down with it, you uh -huh. give him that slack. That's yeah. why I, I just reel. Mm -hmm. Once you got it set, just keep it tight, don't pull it anymore so you don't make it any bigger. Yeah. That's too bad that one got away, I don't know. Yeah. Don't remind me. It's okay if you knew how many I've lost in these six. <laughs> yeah. I lost one after three hours, three seconds, broke my rod in half. I can't find it. All right, guys, so for the next few minutes, Captain Cam's basically going to be talking about some different ways and how to prepare the tuna and some other tuna information. So if you're ever planning on cooking tuna in the future, uh, I'll pay attention right here. Thank you guys for watching up to this point. Enjoy the rest of the video. It was 
whales are coming right at us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, never mind. All right, guys. So after multiple casts, the GoPro eventually died, and we were unable to land any more tuna, and I was unsuccessful in landing my first Atlantic bluefin tuna. But we eventually will be back. But anyways, here's the catch and cook on my dad's tuna. All right, guys. So it's uh, the day after we caught our tuna. Well, he caught his tuna. Lost mine. Say it again. But we're finally cooking the tuna. Um, kind of doing my own thing here. Um, hopefully, it turns out well. You have to make sure that the tuna is dry because. Um, if it gets wet, it gets bad. Tuna is a little bit different than other fish, so um, hopefully it turns out well. So uh, I got olive oil, I got some soy sauce, probably dip it in there, not gonna put too much. And then we got some fresh cilantro, dried cilantro, and then like a garlic pepper mix. Um, hopefully that turns out well. And then we got garlic and then lemon. So uh, yeah, let me cut these up now. These are all cut up now, so um, put like two tablespoons of olive oil, so I'm gonna, it's like, Mix this in here a little bit. And then uh, get the other one in here. Mix that up good. Hopefully this turns out well. I literally just caught it yesterday. I kind of don't know what I'm doing, but I kind of know what I'm doing. Let's just say I know what I'm doing. Tablespoon of soy sauce, actually like two tablespoons, and then like we can dip it too if we need to. When it's actually cooked. Definitely, that's not even a tablespoon, but it's a spoon. So yeah, that's that. Mix it up a little bit. All right, and then um, cut up our lemon. Feeling this is gonna be really good. You know, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm so weird, I'm gonna leave the lemon in there when it marinates. I don't really know how to marinate. Alright, guys, um, so we're marinating now. Um, gonna let this sit for a little bit, and then, um, then after that, we'll put them on the grill, and um, hopefully, it turns out good. Soon as done, um, it might be a little overcooked, but we're about to find out. All right, guys, so that was the last part of the recording. This is the finished plate of the tuna. It was pretty freaking good. There is the tuna right there, right at the boat where my dad caught it. And then here's another picture of my dad. And then here's another picture of my dad with the tuna. And then here is uh, my beloved tuna. Would have been absolutely poetic if we got him literally right at the boat. As soon as I started moving, I stopped reeling. He ran and he was gone. Forever known is the one that got away, guys. But we will be back. And as always, folks, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you all in the next adventure. Oh, yeah.